Hey, what's going on, everybody? So the Packers just put out a few different updates, some moves that they have just made official, a couple that we already knew about that have been just made official, and then one more that sort of is news for the first time right now. So here it is from Green Bay uh, Packers.com saying the Green Bay Packers have placed QB Aaron Rodgers and cornerback Isaac Yudum on the reserve slash COVID-19 list and signed defensive lineman Azuya Alufohai and running back Raquel Armstead to the practice squad. General manager Brian Gudikins announced the transactions Wednesday. And if you guys have yet to subscribe, you want to see more Packers content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. I also just dropped a video on my Silent Scoop NFL channel where I put out things not Packers on the Odell Beckham situation. Lots more things came out today. And I think there's a potential chance that maybe he doesn't stay with the Browns. They could potentially release him in the future. We will see, but I put out an entire video on my second channel. So go subscribe to that. I'll leave that in the description down below. So we already heard earlier today that Aaron Rodgers has COVID and will not be able to play in this Chiefs game and potentially not in the Seahawks game, but he will be eligible to return on the day before the next game versus the Seahawks with Jordan Love now supposed to start. But it is news now that Isaac Yedem is also on the COVID list and um, I'm guessing he's likely not going to play in this game, but we will see. So unfortunately for the Packers, they're still dealing with um, you know, missing some guys as we already did last week. So hopefully, you know, more guys um, don't miss this game versus the Chiefs because we, we definitely need everyone that we could have in this one. But now it is news that the Packers have signed a new running back in Raquel Armstead. It came out yesterday about defensive lineman Azuya Alufahe, whose name I have trouble pronouncing, as you guys can probably tell. Um, that one came out yesterday. Before Raquel Armstead, it makes sense that the Packers wanted to come in here and sign a running back, and I was curious if they were going to just because last week, of course, we lost running back Kylan Hill, our third string running back, and our kicker turner um, to an ACL tear for the rest of the season, and now, of course, Robert Tunyon also lost in that game as well. So the Packers decide to come in and um, add some more depth at the running back position. So now we're going to have to wait and see if they decide to elevate Raquel Armstead to this official roster for this game. But the Packers do also have um, Patrick Taylor, who has been with his team you know, throughout the entire uh, throughout the training camp, and he looked pretty solid at times during um, you know, training camp as well. So we'll see if they just wanted to maybe add Armstead to this practice squad and maybe push up Taylor or if they want to push up Armstead to this Packers um, official roster come Sunday. So it makes sense that they wanted to add a running back here. A little bit of information on Armstead. He was drafted by the Jaguars in the fifth round of the 2019 NFL Draft. He played in 16 games with Jacksonville, had one start. He had 35 carries for 108 yards, 14 receptions, and 144 yards, and two receiving touchdowns. He was waived by the Jaguars last May. And then he spent time with the Giants this offseason and then with the Saints practice squad. That is going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.